How's it going guys? I'm Julian Bradley and in today's lesson I'm going to explain four types of minor scale which are the natural minor scale, the harmonic minor scale, the melodic minor scale and the Dorian mode. Now in this video I'm going to cover all four of these scales and I'm going to explain the different sounds of each of these four scales and explain how you can use them in your own playing. So first up we have the natural minor scale. C natural minor scale has a minor 6th and a minor 7th. Now the natural minor scale is kind of like the default minor scale. It's used mostly in modern popular music. Anytime you hear a song that's in the minor scale, it will usually be written using the natural minor scale. Now with any type of scale you have what I call characteristic chords and these are chords which embody the sound of that scale and you'll find that it's just as important if not more important to use these characteristic chords when you're creating the sound of you know the scale. So the characteristic chords which embody the sound of the natural minor scale would be certainly the minor 1 chord C minor the minor 4 chord, F minor, and the minor 5 chord, which is G minor. So next up we have the harmonic minor scale. Here is C harmonic minor scale. So the harmonic minor scale is predominantly used in classical music, particularly early classical music, composers like Beethoven, Mozart and Bach for example. If they were writing a piece of music in the minor scale, they would use the harmonic minor scale. So the characteristic chords which embody the sound of the harmonic minor scale are C minor, the minor 1 chord, and G major, the major 5 chord. And most harmonic minor music evolves around these two chords. Now you also hear F minor, the 4 chord, and you also sometimes hear A flat major, the 6 chord. So the harmonic minor scale is used often in early classical music. 
It's also found its way into Cuban jazz styles like salsa, where you hear it a lot. And you can also hear it in modern popular music, especially in songs which are trying to emulate a classical sound. So next up we have the melodic minor scale. Here is C melodic minor. So it's basically the minor scale up to the fifth and then we have a major sixth and a major seventh. Now the melodic minor scale is perhaps my personal favorite of the minor scales. It has a very dated sound, has a very film noir kind of sound and it works well on pieces like Summertime, for example. So I love the melodic minor sound. It has a very dated sound. If you think of some old-fashioned styles of jazz, or if you think of some film noir type soundtracks, for example, if you think of the Vertigo soundtrack, if you've watched Hitchcock's Vertigo, well, Bernard Herrmann, the composer, creates this really interesting texture using two minor chords with major sevenths. He just arpeggiates them in opposite directions. And the melody, very simple, is just a two note descending theme. It just plays the major seventh going to the major sixth. Now, pretty much the characteristic chord which I would say creates and embodies the melodic minor sound is this minor six chord. C minor with a major sixth. I think that sound is perfect when you're playing piano on a sunny afternoon. It just really creates that relaxed mood, which I love. Finally, we have the Dorian mode. So this is C Dorian scale. Now the Dorian scale is basically the same notes as the natural minor scale except has this major sixth. Now the main advantage from having a major sixth is that you can create a major four chord. So the characteristic chords of C Dorian mode are C minor the one chord and then F major the major four chord. So the Dorian mode has a very dark but also optimistic sound. 
The minor one chord is the sort of darkness, but then the major four chord is what gives it hope. So when we look at these four minor scales, they all have the same root, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and then the only variation comes within the sixth and the seventh. And if you look at these four scales, we cover all of the four possibilities regarding the sixth and the seventh. So we have the natural minor scale, which has a minor sixth and a minor seventh, we have the melodic minor scale, which has a major sixth and a major seventh. And then we have everything in between. So we have the harmonic minor scale has a minor sixth and a major seventh. And then we have the Dorian mode, which has a major sixth and a minor seventh. So between these four types of scale, these four types of minor scale, we basically have every possibility regarding these sixth and the seventh. So finally, I would like you to try and think of a popular piece of music or well-known piece of music which uses any of these four types of minor scale and I'd like you to type its name in the comments box below. Once again, we have the natural minor scale which is mostly used in popular music. Then we have the harmonic minor scale which is mostly used in early classical music, Cuban jazz music and also some modern day popular music trying to emulate a classical sound. Then we have the melodic minor scale, which is more associated with film noir and creates a dated kind of sound. And then finally we have the Dorian mode, which has a dark but optimistic sound. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you just click the thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And if this is the first video of mine you've seen, make sure you don't miss out on future videos by subscribing to my channel. My name's Julian Bradley. Thank you for watching.